Good afternoon, everybody. It's Miss Betty on Fawn Ridge, and today I am getting ready to make a chicken casserole. It kind of reminds me of when I went to school, and one of the first casseroles that I learned to make was tuna casserole. So this is pretty much going to be related to that. I'm just going to throw stuff in my own way. I am going to get my items prepared, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put it together but first i'm going to use some chicken tenders that i am going to season with just a little lowry seasoning and some black pepper you don't really need to see me cook the chicken because you already know how to go on the stove and just kind of gently cook these tenders they're not going to take very long but i'll come back and i'll cut them up i'll show you i'm also going to add to that one can of cream of chicken soup one can of cream of mushroom soup I'll add some wide egg noodles, a can of green, I'm sorry, a bag of frozen green peas, some sour cream, some butter, and some breadcrumbs. I am going to layer those items and in my casserole dish. Hold on, one second. And then... <laughs> I have some uh, Ritz crackers. These are the honey wheat. I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna crumble them up and they are going to be the topping on my casserole. Let me get started, I'll be back. I hope you're having a great day. All right, so I know I said I'm not gonna have you watch me fry my chicken, and I'm not, but um, I'm going to put a little spin on this chicken and I want you to see exactly what I am going to do because we always want it to be pretty so let's just pop these in and let them brown on both sides if you buy the tenders they're very thin so you can be able to cook these fairly quickly you basically are just braising them and of course you always want to cook chicken to the proper temperature before you add it to any other food. So that's what I am going to do. So I have about two, four, six, eight. I have 10 pieces of chicken strips that I am going to brown. And when they are done, I will take them and I will cut them up into small pieces. And to that, I'm going to add my seasoning blends. Look, follow all the shortcuts that you can because they sell these items in the store and they are wonderful. So what you need to do is you get the season blend and when your chicken is done, um, basically, I think I'm just gonna wait and add it to my casserole rather than to add it to the chicken. How about that? So my chicken is cooking, when it's done, I'll be back, but I just wanted you to see which step that I was going to take first before I build my casserole. All right, so my chicken breasts are all done. Aren't they pretty? They're almost too pretty to cut up. I almost want to do something else with them. But what I'm going to do is that we're going to take them and we're going to cut them in small pieces so that when you eat your casserole, of course, by it being a casserole and it's a one meal dish, we want to make sure that we have plenty of meat in it. And what's better than a chicken breast? That looks so good. So I'll get these all cut up. And I have my mushroom soup and my chicken soup. And uh, my sour cream. I have it in a pot and it's boiling. So that's going to be my cream sauce. I'm also boiling my noodles. And when I come back... Let's put the casserole together. I hope you're having a great day. Remember to replace negative with positive. Be encouraged and be a blessing to someone today. And you be blessed also. Okay, we are ready to build our casserole. I have sprayed my casserole dish with my canola oil so that my pan won't stick. I have my buttered noodles. Um, already washed, cleaned, and drained with cold water so that they're not all sticky and gooey, okay? So, 
We will start out by putting noodles on the bottom. Let's put a layer of noodles. I'm going to go ahead and add some green peas. Actually, this is pretty pretty, and it's tasty, and it's all my favorite foods. I love casseroles. I'm also going to add my seasoning blend. And to that, I have my cream soups that I have already put on the stool, stove <laughs> and cooked together. So we'll start out by pouring some of that over our first layers. Oh my goodness, look at that. That looks so good. No need to mix this, it's just gonna saturate all the way through. Okay, we'll save some for the top. Isn't that pretty? Now, let's add some chicken. This is my chicken, all cut up and pretty. We'll add some chicken on the top. Make sure that your hands are extremely clean because you're touching the food. I don't have to add any more seasoning to this because I've already seasoned my meat. I've added salt to my um, noodles. And of course the soup is already salty. So let's watch our salt. Okay, now to that, we're just gonna sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top. And I just have some plain seasoned breadcrumbs. So we'll sprinkle that on the top. Okay, let's just call that layer one, okay? Let's go ahead and add the remainder of our noodles. And I do have a few more in my pot, so. All right. This is gonna be tasty. All right. So we'll just repeat our steps. Go ahead, add more peas. I like frozen peas. So this is going to be really, really good. Okay. And to that, we're gonna add a little bit more of our Soup mixture. We want to put all of this in there because we want it to be nice and creamy. We don't want it to be dry. Okay, so kind of like bounce it around a little bit. That's what I would say. Oh, mm, that is so pretty. Now, let's put the rest of our chicken on top. And because I don't have very many peas left, I'm just going to go ahead on and add the rest. Because this is a really nice one meal dish. No need to make anything else to go with this. This will be plenty for you and your family. Okay, that's great. What do you think? A one dish casserole is always in order. Okay. I'm gonna hold it up a little bit just so you can see it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's go ahead and add more breadcrumbs. I don't wanna add a lot because I do have my um, Rich crackers, and that is going to be my topping. So I'll go ahead and top it with that. I'm gonna bake this in a preheated oven of 350 for about 35 minutes. All right. That is so pretty. You can show your children how to make this, so when they come home from school, 
They can make them a casserole while they're waiting on you to come home from work. It's easy. All right. Here's our casserole, and it is now oven ready. I will be back in 35 minutes. So this is my chicken casserole and it looks absolutely fabulous. Oh, look at that. You can make this, it's so easy. If you have any questions, please go to my YouTube page, put it, your comments, your questions in the comment section and I'll be glad to get back to you. But it looks good and I'm going to taste it. You make it a great day. This is Miss Betty and I have been cooking on Fawn Ridge.